tonight pushback over both shootings and how state police officers are fighting crime here. The officers who fired those weapons are part of a group of 50 state police officers brought here to help APD, and the ACLU is demanding those officers follow APD's rules. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live along Central near Carlisle this evening with the latest. Rebecca. Yeah, well, Dean and Jess, it's here along the Central Corridor where 50 state police officers from across New Mexico are now patrolling. In the last seven days, they've already made more than 12 arrests, but some people want to make sure they're being held to the same standards as APD. Our officer fired rounds at the driver of the vehicle. It was a wild night in Albuquerque. Shots were fired by our officer. Two officer involved shootings in just an hour on opposite sides of the city. Unfortunately, policing Albuquerque right now is having to deal with dangerous situations. One state police officer from Farmington, the other from Gallup, both here for the Metro surge operation tackling crime. But these shootings have the ACLU raising a lot of questions. Well, the shootings raise a concern that we had from the very beginning, and that is, are these officers going to be held to the same standards that uh, the Albuquerque Police Department officers are held to? Peter Simonson, the executive director of the ACLU, says these shootings involve tactics far different from APD policies and reform. If we set them against the example of another police department that is held to lesser standards, in fact, may not even be trained in some of the kinds of techniques, de-escalation and otherwise, that APD is trained and held accountable to, what will that do to the reform process? Since the officers arrived in Albuquerque last Friday, court records show at least 17 arrests along the central corridor by state police for everything from DWIs to possession and stolen vehicles. So our guys are out there, they're busy. Despite the concerns raised, Mayor Keller and the governor's office completely support state police infiltrating a problem area. We're grateful that they're here, but we also have faith that uh, they'll follow appropriate uh, procedures just like we would. And you may notice behind me there is one of those state police officers. He actually just pulled someone over. But another concern that the ACLU raised is that many of these officers are coming from much more rural parts of the state and they may not be used to policing busier areas with more chaotic scenarios like they might see here in Albuquerque. Dean and Jess, back to you. Okay, Rebecca, thank you. Now we reached out to the governor's office on these concerns. A spokesperson says every officer that fires their weapon is investigated and held accountable.